All right, it's time now for another bite with Butch, and you know. Every time we do one of these things, we, we talk about the keys to the game. But, sure. man, we got to talk about another key. You and Ken Dorsey <laughs> yesterday getting a key to the city uh, yeah. from Mayor Francis Suarez. How cool is that? That was awesome. I mean, uh, you feel very, very honored that uh, Mayor Suarez would recognize. It's easy to recognize what Kenny Dorsey's done. I mean, yeah. led the Miami Hurricanes. Don't sell and yourself short, yeah, Coach. I know. But it, it was great. I mean, I think both of us were very appreciative of it, and it was great to get a chance to meet him, talk to him. And uh, he's a huge FIU fan. and. Uh, so that was really cool. Now you guys are having a lot of fun out in practice. I know it's Halloween. We saw Bobby <laughs> Boucher dressed up out here when you're GAs. Yeah. The kickers are going crazy. Yeah. Uh, you know, cheering on uh, on the sidelines, chasing down celebrations. <laughs> uh, what's it been like now? You got this four-game win streak. Now yeah. it seems very loose. Everyone's having a lot of fun. Well, I think guys, obviously, you want you want your football team to enjoy coming to mm -hmm. practice, and you know the focus still has to be. You got to do the work. You got to make sure your techniques, fundamentals, learn your assignments and right. stuff. But you like the energy level. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I think the longer that this team has played, the leaders feel a lot more comfortable in being leaders. Uh, we, let, we, we lost some great leaders last year with Alex Magoo and Anthony Wint and Trayvon Wint, a lot of guys that had played a lot, Thomas yeah. Owens. And it took a little bit of time, to be honest with you. The first three or four games of the season, guys weren't really sure, you know, who was going to become, you know, kind of the leaders on right. the team. Once we voted for captains and it became permanent captains, those guys stepped up and everybody else has followed. Now, speaking of leaders, obviously last week, you guys took down Western Kentucky. You guys are now uh, six and two, bowl eligible. Mm -hmm. One of the leaders, though, Edwin Freeman, nearly a dozen tackles on mm -hmm. that defense. I know we give the offense a lot sure. of love, but go ahead, go ahead, brag sure. about your linebacker because well, he played one heck of a game. I tell you what, you know, a year ago, you know, we had absolutely nobody to play tight end. We get Pharaoh McKeever that comes and becomes a grad transfer yeah. from North Carolina State and does a phenomenal job for us. Well, this year's version of Pharaoh McKeever is Ed Freeman. Uh, he had played an awful lot at the University of Texas. He'd been in some huge, gigantic games, Texas, Oklahoma, you know, and all the games that Texas. Texas plays in, graduated. He had a couple of options to go some other places. Uh, I think with the loss of three linebackers last year, we yeah. really needed an experienced veteran, older guy that had been in games. And uh, the longer he's been here, the better he and more comfortable he comes with the uh, uh, with the defensive scheme and stuff. And he's, he's playing very well for us. Now you guys will need him this week. I know FAU's down. It's a big game, the Shula Bowl. Yeah. Uh, they've got a, a losing record. I think they're, what, three and four at the moment. Mm -hmm. But they've still got that guy, Devin sure. Singletary carrying that rock 15 okay. touchdowns yeah, defense has got to be on their p's and q's but no doubt about it he's explosive yeah, i mean there's no doubt about it hands down he is the best running back that we played last year he's the best running back that we've seen on film this year uh they have two good running backs but he is clearly the, you know the marquee guy he's got all the things that you'd like to see in a running back i mean he's explosive he can run outside run inside catches the ball uh you know he's a very very talented young man you got to make sure that uh you know we do a good job the best job that we can to do our assignments, make sure that we try to get gang tackling and swarms, and uh, you don't want to get this guy on a one-on-one. -on -one. Now, uh, I want to talk about your running backs for a second, because it seems like there's this healthy rotation of guys, <laughs> and one guy coming up and stepping up. You got Anthony Jones, obviously we know what happened, he went sure. down. And then you got uh, Shondarius Phillips, mm -hmm. he has his big moments, and sure. now Devontae Price. Yeah. Seems to come out of nowhere and just take over the reins. Yeah, uh, you know, I mean, and that's one of the great things about having some depth is that you can keep guys in when somebody gets a little bit of nick, like Sean Phillips got a little bit of a nick in the ankle. So guys like Napoleon Maxwell and, and uh, Devontae Price, maybe they get an extra four or five carries in a game that maybe would have gone to the third guy. Yeah. Keeping fresh guys in the, in the game, you know, is critically important. Uh, Devontae's, you know, he keeps getting better every single week. He catches the ball out of the backfield well. The one guy that has been, and people kind of somewhat overlook, and last week, uh, you know, Napoleon had, I think, over 80 yards yeah. rushing in the game. Every week, I mean, you can count on him. He's running as physical and as strong as I've ever seen him. And uh, yeah, he's doing a great job on blitz pickups and stuff. I mean, and he's a guy that's uh, unbelievably dependable. Sure, it's nice to see those guys stepping up. You'll need all the firepower you need. Absolutely. Everyone knows about the Lane Train, Lane Kiffin's offense, but Thank you so much. Yeah. FAU, FIU, the Shula Bowl here yeah. this time Absolutely. this Saturday. Yeah, get out there and rock the cage. You heard him.